a lot of mail has arrived recently. Let's um, let's open it. All right. Actually, we'll start one at a time. All right. First off the rank, uh, old knife or new knife? Let's go old knife. Uh, if Def Pom says you can use an old knife, then you can use an old knife. Okay, so we have ESP8266, the 01 module, so ESP01, and uh, I've been liking these more and more lately because of a couple of things. Uh, dirt cheap, which is, uh, which is great, but also... Um, if you're just if you if you're not that interested in GPIs, the disadvantage of these guys was always that if you need a lot of GPIOs, you've only got a couple. But if you only need them as something like Wi-Fi repeaters, good job because they are dirt cheap. And uh, since they came out, there's been quite a lot of, I guess, adapters and what have you to make things easier. And I like this one in particular. So I remember when the ESP-01s uh, first arrived and uh, I was breadboarding them up and it was a bit of a problem uh, because uh, getting the, uh, you know, the GPIOs broken out, trying to find out how to program, oh, that's hardwired in there. I didn't realise that. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to pull that capacitor off. Uh, but these little adapters now are fantastic. So uh, this guy just, you can see a little arrow there. So this guy just sits in here, and uh, you do need to pay attention to the arrow because I have got that wrong. Put some uh, header pins on this side, which uh, which is given, and you are good to go. Um, so yeah, I think that's uh, five ESP uh, O1s and five adapters to match. Good get. This one worries me a bit. Um, it's rattling. That's not usually a good sign. I'm going to go with sharp knife this time. Let's see what we've got. All right, I think I know what this is. I think this is a sort of like a build your own 18650 solar panel. Um, oh, wait a minute, there's bits and pieces falling out there. Uh, solar panel charger power bank device so i can't remember where i saw this i'm not convinced i've got everything out of that packet there's some tiny little screws there but the idea is that you put your 18650 in here maybe i guess at least three maybe even four of them oh look it's a light as well wow and uh here's your charging board and uh, and here's your solar panel. Oh, there's some fiddly bits here. What's the chances of losing some of these? And uh, and yeah, put it all together, and uh, you get yourself a solar power bank, uh, which you can also use. I then uh, think you can probably also use it to go on and uh, power phones and whatnot. And this this is a bank of LEDs as well. I'm going to put this together and see what it looks like. Right, let's go old knife. Ooh, yep, perfect. And we have, I think, more ESP style adapters. So, another thing which I've got in mind for the ESP, given that it's only, let me use new knife, I think. Given that you've only got a couple of GPIOs, but really it's pretty useful if you just need to switch something on and off. Let me just get a ESP01 and show you. All right, so here's the ESP01. Little arrow down here indicates that it sits this way. And then we can use it with the relay here to switch larger loads. So I'm guessing the idea is a little switch on the side there too. Uh, for, not for programming, resetting? 
Hmm, I've got some reading to do. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, the idea is that you would, over the network, uh, tell this thing to switch on or off. And, uh, and then, what have we got on this side? We've got COM, NC, so there's your communication, and then VCC and ground. Um, yeah, pretty keen to try out these. If not, just to hear the clicking. That'll be nice. You know. Right. Uh -huh. Solar panels. So, with my Wi-Fi mesh extending over the property, I'm trying to use the appropriate solar panels in order to uh, maintain charge. And, uh, yeah, just trying a few different varieties, I suppose. Um, not sure what this is. It's I'm down here in the basement, so not sure what we'll get in terms of voltage off the lights, but we can just give it a quick try. But I think we'll end up going outside to have a look at this one. So if we just... Put this on, oh well, it's going to be the other way around, not that it really matters, but let's just put it on the right way around and show it some light. And what do we get? I'd say this would be six volt, but look, that's a little awkward actually. But let's just try it this way. What do we get? Are we there yet? Almost. Yeah, I'm going to say down here uh, in artificial light, we're probably looking at 6 volt. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit hard to maintain. I'm so I'm going to go with these ones because I have ordered a different uh, number of different types, and I think these are the 6 volt ones. So slightly higher voltage, given the form factor, probably slightly lower current. And I'm just going to try a few experiments with these to see which one's going to work in the situations which I'm trying to do, which is um, ESP 8266s out there and about uh, providing solar-powered uh, Wi-Fi meshes. Pretty cool. Very light, this one. Old guy. Yeesh. Alrighty. And we've got <laughs> ESP 8266s and the 01 versions. Uh, because honestly, they are so cheap and cheerful. And if I could cut properly, we could confirm that. If I cut properly without taking my finger off. Yep, there they are. Same old, same old. So just grabbing a few of these while they're going is good. And look, just for those people who are thinking, you know, should I grab an Arduino Uno or um, something else, a Nano or something like that, you know, these guys here, uh, if you don't need a lot of IOs or you can perhaps be a little bit creative about IOs, then um, this might be a cheap and cheerful option during the current times when finding you know microcontrollers uh, at a good price is quite difficult have a think about that you don't have to uh, use the wi-fi uh, capacity of them just think about it in terms of having a processor with a bit of memory and a couple of ios for you know not much money good deal right new guy And we have, oh, okay, so charging boards, very good. Um, so it's USB type C, and then we've got uh, out, and uh, also battery plus and battery minus. So the idea is that this goes to your 18650 battery, and then you've got your uh, plus or minus, which can go out to your, well, project. Uh, USB-C to, to power it, or indeed you got a plus minus here, which could be a solar panel. So, yeah, pretty useful battery charges in that scenario. Is it lucky last? Let's find out.
last one for this post bag is, aha, more solar panels. Fantastic. Uh, these look a bit smaller than the other ones. Let me just go and grab, oh, that's um, hard to pull apart. Let me just go and grab the other ones. Here's the other ones by comparison. Much of a muchness. Interesting. I reckon these might be pretty similar. Let's try that dance again with the multimeter. And again, K-bit. Um, oh, that's interesting. Look, they're covered up. I wonder what that means. That is very interesting. I'm going to have to try and do it on these ones here, which means covering up the actual solar panel itself. This could be very interesting. We're getting... Yeah, but look at my stupid thumbs they're covering. Oh, there we go. I'm going to go with maybe 5 volt on these ones. It does say 5 on there. I wonder what it says on the back of the other ones. Let me check. Oh, look at that. Don't, don't bother doing the dance. Check this. So that's the 6 volt version and that's the 5 volt version. I'm very keen to get these hooked up in full sunshine. Uh, good luck with that in Tasmania. And also put a load on there and actually see what the current that these push through is. But yeah, pretty much the same form factor. But yeah, 5 volt version, I'm going to go with 6 volt version. Anyway, that is the mailbag for this week. Uh, look forward to catching you next time. See you then.